A quick Google search for the coldest mountain peak in the world is likely to bring you here. Denali, previously known as Mount McKinley. With an elevation of 6,190 meters above sea level, it is the tallest peak in North America and third most prominent in the world. Located in the interior of the US state of Alaska, Denali is the centerpiece of this national park. And it is really, really cold on top. A meteorological station was installed in 2002 at an elevation of 5,800 meters. The lowest recorded temperature by the station was minus 59.7, combined with a wind speed of 29.6 km h to produce a North American record wind chill of minus 83.4. Even in July, this weather station has recorded temperatures as low as minus 30.5 and, and wind chills as low as minus 50.7. But according to the National Park Service, in 1932, a thermometer that records the minimum and maximum temperatures was recovered at about 4,600 meters, and it showed that the maximum lowest recorded temperature was minus 73. Another thermometer was placed at roughly the same level by the US Army Natick Laboratory, left there between 1950 to 1969. It also clocked in minus 73. These records quite possibly mean that the peak of Denali could be the second coldest place on Earth after the Antarctica where, on the 23rd of July, 1983, a record, minus 89.2, was recorded by the Vostok Research Station. Logically then, we could assume that the coldest peak in Antarctica should also be its tallest, right? The Ellsworth mountain range is the highest in the Antarctica, forming a 350km long and 48km wide chain of mountains in the southwest of the continent. And Mount Winson, at 4,892 meters, is its highest peak, with a number of other peaks with similar height. The temperatures in the Ellsworth mountains average around minus 30, which is actually not as cold as other places in the Antarctica because of marine weather systems encountered here. Therefore, the coldest temperature is not that likely to fall significantly below these numbers. So while on average, Ellsworth range is colder than Denali, it cannot come close to the insanely low temperatures found there during extreme weather events. So then, does that mean the coldest mountain peak is not in the Antarctic? Not really. It depends more on what you consider to be a mountain. The Antarctic continent itself is on average the most elevated continent on Earth. Vostok Station, for example, is located at an elevation of 3,488 meters, far above sea level and far removed from the moderating influence of oceans, as more than 1,000 kilometers separated from the nearest coast. And combined with three months of darkness that come with the polar night, it produces an environment where temperatures rarely rise above minus 25 and frequently fall below minus 70 in winter. And while Vostok Station doesn't look like it's located on a mountain, it really is. The mountains are simply covered in ice. So then is Vostok the coldest? Not really. It is generally considered that there are places in the Antarctic which get significantly colder. Satellite data collected during the Antarctic polar nights between 2004 and 2016 reveal a broad region of the high East Antarctic Plateau that regularly reaches surface temperatures of minus 90 and over. These occur at around 3,800 to 4,050 meter elevation. And comparisons with nearby automated weather stations suggest that air temperatures during these events are near minus 90. Such ultra-cold conditions occur more frequently when the Antarctic polar vortex is strong, caused by intense radiative cooling of the snow surface during prolonged wintertime periods of clear sky, weak winds and very dry atmosphere. And around minus 90 appears to be about as low as it is possible to reach naturally on Earth, because heat radiating from the cold air is nearly equal to the heat radiating from the bitterly cold snow surface. One particular place that stands out above the rest is Dome Argus, located 1,200 kilometers inland is thought to be the coldest naturally occurring place on earth with temperatures reaching into minus 80 territory almost every single winter it is the highest ice feature in antarctica consisting of a massive ice dome rising 4093 meters it is essentially an ice mountain which for the coldest place on earth makes sense but while it is technically very high up, it is not really visually prominent. It doesn't look like much of a mountain at all, certainly not when compared to Mount Winson or Denali. In fact, you would have to dig through about 2,400 meters of ice to get to the mountains that lie underneath Underneath, there's a mountain range, roughly equal in size to the European Alps, completely covered by at least 600 meters of ice and snow, known as the Gamburschev subglacial mountain range. It is approximately 1,200 kilometers long, and the mountains are believed to be about 2,700 meters tall. It was only discovered in 1958 by a Soviet Antarctic expedition. So there you have it. The coldest mountain range on Earth is so cold, it is literally covered by another mountain of ice. 
During this video, you may have wondered to yourself, I hear Mount Everest is 8,488 meters tall. How cold does it get up there? The coldest annual temperatures occur from the 15th of December until the end of January, where at the summit they average minus 37. The coldest temperature actually measured on the summit was in February 2003 with a minus 41.8 reading. And there have been some published reports speculating that the absolute minimum temperature may fall as low as minus 60. However, there is no weather station on the summit of Mount Everest. The highest meteorological observatory is at an altitude of 5050 meters, so we don't really know how cold it can get during the coldest months, since no one tries to reach the summit. One thing we do know is that the summit of Everest might be the windiest place on Earth. From the middle of October until the start of April, the summit is subject to winds that are almost continually in excess of 120 km per hour, which is equivalent to a Category 1 hurricane. This means that during winter, wind chill adjusted temperatures at the summit are as low as minus 70, exposed skin would be frostbitten almost instantaneously. These extreme wind speeds and temperatures explain the relatively short annual climbing window. So factoring in the wind speed, Everest is just as cold as Denali, if not more so. And if a weather station ever goes up there, it would be no surprise if it's found to be colder. Dome Argus, which we discussed earlier, and is likely the coldest place on Earth, is also known as the South Pole of Cold, meaning that there's also a pole of cold in the Northern Hemisphere, and that of course is in Siberia. This wouldn't be a geoperspective video if I didn't involve Russia and Siberia in some way. In the Northern Hemisphere, there are two places in the Saka Republic being considered as the poles of cold. These are in Verkhoyansk and Oymyakov. On February 6, 1932, there was a temperature of minus 67.7 recorded at Oymyakon's weather station. This is actually the coldest highly reliable measurement in the Northern Hemisphere. Oymyakon is situated in a valley where coldness is literally trapped by the mountains that surround it, and it actually gets warmer at higher elevation. What I would like to know is how cold it gets on top of Peak Pabiera, which is one of the highest mountains in Siberia, and it is considered by some to be one of the coldest places on Earth. Of course, normal people don't go climbing mountains in Siberia during winter time, so nobody actually knows how cold it gets. We can only speculate that the temperatures could be equal to that of Denali or Everest, but that could be totally false. Either way, nowhere in the world comes even close to Dome Argus and the frozen peaks of the East Antarctic. If you'd like to create a little character to live on the map or adopt a little animal or create your own country on this map, then please subscribe to me on Patreon and support this channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now have a guess where this is and I will see you soon. Geo Perspective out.